Hey everyone, welcome to a, another unboxing video here that I have. So, why do I have this here? Well, today I'm actually unboxing um, a new microphone that I think it arrived on March 16th. Today is the 25th. But I'm just not getting around to unboxing it due to work and everything and trying to finish up my final parts in the game before it releases. No, I can't see the release date on the game. But what I have today, let me start taking some things out. I basically, basically I'm setting up a new microphone because I'm going to start my first live streams. I have a stand here, which I'm going to do first. First of all, let me just go ahead and rip this open so you can see what I got here. This is the Blue Yeti. Um, Blue Yeti Nano Microphone, but I may do a separate video for this. For now, I'm going to put this to the side. I think I'm going to do this first, set the stand up, and this will be a separate video. If you're interested in hearing what this sounds like, go watch that video, because I'm thinking there's going to be a separate video. So, but yes, that is the Blue Yeti Nano Premium USB Microphone. Uh, I'll repeat this in that video, but I got the original price. I think is around $99 But I got it for sale on Amazon for $82.24 That's how much I paid for that now. Let me get to this portion of the video And also why I'm getting this one was working. Well, I've been using this For some of my past gameplay videos uh, Bayonetta and some other ones, but recently I started getting an error that was saying power um when i plug it into my work computer and my new personal desktop that's finally up and running again it kept saying power surge there's a huge power surge and there wasn't enough power to run it so i think it's basically just defective down there and i can't really i don't think i can return it i tried going to best buy and asking because i got it sometime last year so i figured i'm just gonna upgrade to the one that has like 10,000 reviews and pretty much everyone is using it, but now I'm gonna use it. So, microphone, it, it worked well for its time, but you know, can't hang on to that one forever. These are just my papers. I'll look at those later, weird. Let's take it out. I'm gonna try to make this quick because I need to go lay down and exercise. But here you go. This is it. Hopefully you can see it. So this is actually, let me say the name of it. I wrote it down. It's right here, but it is the Pile Pro Suspension Boom Scissor Microphone Stand with the shock mount holder. So this is where I'm gonna put my microphone in so that. Because usually I've been setting the microphone, you know, just on tables in my way and stuff like that. At least for the console gameplay I've done. But for the computer, I, I don't want that in my way. You know, with a mouse and keyboard. And I actually purchased an Xbox controller down there too. I have a... I do have a PC a controller that I purchased back in 2021. But I figured I'll just upgrade to the Xbox, you know. Also, it, it does come. That's right. It comes with this cable. Figure that out. XLR cable. So here you go. It looks like... It looks like... The cable actually doesn't come off. I guess they already have it set up where, like, it's pretty much on there. So here you go. So let me try to, so there you go, open it up. Hopefully this is pretty simple to put together. Um, this, yeah, seems to be in there, but I don't know if I'm gonna be using this. It's funny because I think that could fit with this one here. I think, 
the Samsung one that I was using, the Q2U. I think this could fit, but yes, they already have it where the wire is just sort of through there. To be honest, I don't think you can even take that out. I don't think the wire is just in there. It doesn't look like you can take it out unless you like unscrew that right there, the bolts, the screws. And then bring the cable through. I'm just going to leave that. So. Oh. So here's some more parts. I got a one year warranty. Looks like some things came out of the bag. Oh boy. I was hoping this would be pretty simple. I know this is where it goes to like attach it to the uh this part here this attached to the table i do know that let me see and to be honest i guess you know they expect it to be pretty simple that's what i'm hoping because there are no instructions in this box so if you purchase this and you're curious, well, get ready to watch as I try to figure this out. Because as I just told you, I look, look in the box. There's no instructions at all. Nine. They expect everyone to, you know, I guess to have used one of these before. I've never used one. So, yeah, like, I don't have a clue what goes where, but I do have lots of parts here. Actually, more parts than I thought there would be, as usual. Let me move this out of the way for now. This is why I'm doing two separate videos. This will just be a setup video. Yeah. So they're literally, so if you purchase this, maybe that's why you're here. And you're gonna watch me try to figure this mess out. There are literally no instructions. <laughs> Hmm. Let's see. Let me see. I wonder if I can figure it out. I guess they want you to scan the QR code and all that nonsense. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to look at that picture. Because that's what I am, a visual person. And that looks like the top. Right there. So. This is what I figured. This part up here. That's where this goes. Hmm. Said I'm just figuring this out as I go. Because. As usual. You know. There's no instructions. Yeah, the clamp part's on the bottom. Oh, I think I can figure this out. Actually, this might go up there on there. I'm not sure. You see, I don't know what I'm doing at all. I've never done this before. I've never used one. You think, oh, I work in animation, I've used one, but no, I haven't. So, <laughs> still. So, this goes like this. I'm pretty sure. Based on what I'm saying, unless it's the opposite way here, 
Let me see. Wait, there's something blocking it in there. What in the world? Okay, look like you could, you have to push it in here. Hold up. Or maybe not. You probably can't see it. There's a uh, there's something blocking the inside, sort of. Sort of weird. See something? There's something blocking the way. Holy crap, I just pulled it out too. <laughs> Dang it, whatever that was right there. This thing. This was inside. So now that's concerning because I just took it out. But I'm going to put it back in for now. So I guess they want me to scan the freaking QR code and and do all that, I guess. I guess that's what you have to do these days, man. So I may go do that. Because I know this is the wrong way. It, it definitely... I have the right side. It does go down here. But it's not going because that thing is blocking it. I don't know if I have to remove it. I loosen it still won't go. Hmm. Weird. See if I can figure this side out. I doubt it. Yeah, I may have, I guess, I have figured how to scan that code and, and look it up. But, I guess, you know, everyone's cheap, you know, these days because of paper and all that, I guess. But, uh, yeah, so. Like, even looking at this. Even if I can say, okay, this goes on this side, like, I don't understand this at all. <laughs> wow. And then there's this thing that looks like some type of clown. So, I'm going to go see if I can look this up real quick. I'll try to figure out how to scan this QR code thing. Okay, I went to the website. Uh, there's no instructions on there. I did look at the pictures, and I was correct about this side going over here. And this clamp does go down here. The only issue with the clamp is, like I said, there's something on the inside. And I don't know if they have to stay in there or not. I'm thinking that doesn't stay in there. That's the only way I want to be put be able to put that in there. So if I untwist this, like this little piece comes out. This. I hope that's not damaged or something. Like I don't understand that. It like blocks it. I can try to put it on here. But basically, yeah, it goes like this. See, now it fits, but that's concerning to me that that piece doesn't, I don't know if it's broken or not. I have no idea. But this is basically, this is how this goes, is like this. Based on the pictures that I saw. So, technically you're supposed to put this on the table first and then you slide that down in. But if I try to twist this, let me see. Does it stay? It's loose. It's very loose. Like I'm missing some steps. And then again, and also like I said, there's this weird piece here. 
that was inside. And I don't know what to think about that piece. Let's see something. Unless I like really push this down or something. Let me see. Without okay, never mind, it does go down. Well, that's weird. And now it's just all disassembled with this little piece. But see, now it can't be tight. <laughs> you know? This is weird, man. This is super weird. Maybe now, okay, I can tighten it. So, this is the best I have for you. <laughs> there are no instructions online. I'm tightening this as best as I can. But yeah, the clamp, it, that's where it goes, on the bottom, like this. That's what I saw in the pictures. That's not stable, whatever that is. I'm not even sure I'm doing it right, but there are no instructions online. And I was correct, the other piece. I don't think it matters which way, but it somehow fits in here. But I think, uh, do these open? They do twist. Okay. They twist open, but <laughs> maybe it's just the cap. I guess that was just the cap. Hopefully this is all I need and everything else is extra. I don't know. Like, I'm super confused. I don't know, like it's twisting around, but it's supposed to be able to. This moves, but then, then you can twist it to tighten it. And then the clamp goes here. That's all I got for now. And then I should be able to move this around, like I said. And then you tighten these if you want it in place, right? I don't know. So, let me go put it around. I don't like this cable hanging because I'm probably not going to be using this. I don't know what to do with this cable. Like, wrap it up here, maybe? Because, like I said, I'm probably not going to be using this cable for my purposes. I don't know. You have to open that microphone and see. Maybe it does use it. I don't know. Anyway... Uh, I really don't know what to tell you all. Huh. This one has me bewildered. I do not know. Because technically I just screwed everything on. With those two pieces, I don't know what all these other screws are for. I don't know what this clamp is. There are no instructions. What is that? And this thing here, in case you're curious, is nowhere on... This thing is nowhere on the pictures, even when I looked online. 
There are no instructions online on the website. I thought maybe this is where the mic goes. I can see this for like the Samson mic I have with it. Even then, this is super tight for that one. But yeah, this is where the one of those thin mics I guess could go in. Maybe that's what this is. And then you you maybe put this on the end for one of those type of mics. That's what this is. This is for I think one of these microphones. Like that's what that piece is right there. Okay. And then you twist it on the end. So that's what that is. So these are different type of microphones you, or you, you use these to hold. Different type of microphones. That's what these extra pieces are. That's what they are. I know because I use this that comes with this Samsung microphone. And then you like, basically you just put the two part of the microphone, you know, like just going inside there, but it like stick up. All right, so. I think that's pretty much it. Now let me go try to put it up on the desk and show you all what it looks like. Um, I think that's it. I think everything else is just confusing because these are just extra pieces. I think it really is that simple. So there you go. This part's on the bottom. If you look at it, and I bend it down and you see the part that holds the microphone goes up here. But I have this type of microphone, this one. Blue Yeti. So make sure it's that. If it's the other one like that where you where you have to hold in your hand, uh like this, then you use this to put, twist on the end like I do the other one. I don't know what the clamp one is for. You have to ask some serious sound design professionals um who work in sound. I do not work in sound like that. I have no idea what that piece is. And there are no instructions or anything that says what that piece there is. Everything else seems to be extra screws just in case. I guess you lose them or... So I'll keep them in my drawer. But anyway, let me go put it together here. Okay. So here I am at my desk. Man, I don't know what to do with this cable. Like I said, when I open the um, the Blue Yeti Nano Microphone, I'll see if I'm going to be using this or even this. I have to see what it looks like because I'm not sure. If I'm not mistaken, it's just a USB plug-in where I don't think I'll be needing this. So, I hate to like completely remove that cable, but it's sort of weird. It's just going to be hanging like this. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. Or if it comes down to it, you know, I taped this up here on the side. So that may be my solution, but basically, so there's my deck nine uh, mouse pad. Let me move it over some just to see, see what I can do here. basically just twist it down and uh, I'm not really sure it's under there the table's definitely gonna get ruined but I don't care so let me see just trying to think so I'm sitting down here I hate to clamp this with it. <laughs> okay, maybe it'll, just, it'll fit right in there like that or something. Like underneath there, and that won't be too bad. It's a big enough mouse pad. It's like I don't want it too close. You know? I don't want it over here, honestly. That's, that's gonna be on the way too, walking by it. So I'm thinking about putting it, honestly. Wait. This thing is right on the edge of that thing, which is fine, it's not bad. But for right now, yeah, I'm just showing you guys 
how I'm going to have it sort of set up. I think it's working. Just twisting it until... The leg is already pretty stable. Uh, I don't want it too tight either. That's what happened to my, um, that clamp for my uh, G920 wheel, whatever, that my PlayStation wheel that I had last year working, 2021 actually. It, <laughs> It feels like I can keep twisting it, but then it feels like it's hard too. But basically, I'm just turning it so that it's pretty stable. Let me see. Yeah, I can move the table. I think that's good. It sort of looks lopsided. It is. Move it a little bit. It's definitely not on like straight. And this turns too, so I don't know. And that part was weird anyway. Oh, crap. Wait. Yeah, I loosened it. I don't, I think I'm going to stop there. Uh, it sucks. It is sort of loose, but I don't think it's going to like fall over. So I'm still twisting it. Like it seems like it's come to a stopping point, but here it is. See, it looks like, I don't know if this is intentional where I can turn this. Maybe it is. So you can turn it and manipulate it. And uh, yeah. Can I go back? I can't bend. Uh, so I feel like I bend it back, it's gonna like fall over and break. That's interesting. I try to move it back that way to push it back some. But now I'm not sure. Either way, so I could have the microphone like this, you know. So, and then it's not in the way. And I'm pretty sure you can still hear me this way. I think. Maybe I should move it down some. Man, I really didn't want it in the way. But for now, I may move it down here later. Just so like, like it's here. It's not blocking my way, I don't think. Um, I'll figure that out. As of right now, like it's, you know, this is what it's gonna look like. It's not too bad. I mean, it works. It's not, it's definitely not for this plastic type of table. If you have one, it's definitely not. Um, it doesn't feel extremely tight on the table, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna come off either. See, I'm, this part is loose up here which you, I guess sort of need to be, I'm not sure. But the part that's clamped on, that's not really moving, so that's good. So this is where I'm gonna pick up tomorrow. Anyway, yeah, this is where I'm gonna pick up tomorrow when I actually put the microphone in here and test it out. It definitely is not in my way. Like I said, this is my first time using a microphone stand or that type of microphone at all. So it's not in my way of the screen. You know, I, I can see myself on, I'm playing here or whatever, like, there's nothing really in my way. Um, can I turn this? No. That's the only thing is I wish I could rotate this without breaking it. But I, it doesn't look like it can. Unless I turn it like this. 
right? I could turn it like that and then it'd be coming through. So, so maybe the microphone does plug into this and I don't realize it yet, but I, I'll open it tomorrow, figure it out. Um, getting ready to watch your academia, my hero academia tonight. Two episodes for Adult Swim. I'm behind. So two episodes come on Adult Swim on Saturdays now. And I did not know, you know, the Japanese subtitles already went through. Don't care. I'm just watching the English version. You know. Do a little short exercise. Go watch that later. Eat some cereal. 11 o'clock at night. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll try to get this video here out tonight. Stay tuned for the um, the setup of the actual microphone. I'm going to test it. I may test it with some... See, I don't think my Q2U is going to work. That's a problem with working on this computer. Otherwise, I could have did a comparison with it. But it won't, I don't think it'll work. I do have my headphone microphone. Um, this expensive JBL Quantum 1 headphone. I could do a comparison with that. And this, and also my Brio web camera, has a microphone. So maybe I do a, just a comparison of all three. So you can see that I'm pretty sure that the Blue Yeti microphone is most likely going to be the best. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm dizzy right now. Until next time, guys. See ya.